Ah, oh, I got this railroad spike stuck in my face. I'll tell you all about it in a minute. Welcome to Hack A Week. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, it's Halloween night. I've got about uh, two hours to get all this done. I think I can pull it off. I've got a couple of makeup kits here that uh, picked up at a local, um, actually, <laughs> as funny as it is, at the drugstore, Rite Aid. Uh, as long as they've got liquid latex in them, then that's fine. That's what you're looking for is liquid latex. You can also buy this at theater supply houses. You can buy it at places that sell costumes and things like that. But what we're doing here is kind of a, a theater makeup thing. I've done a bit of this in the past. So I'll pass on to you a little trick that I learned years ago, how to make fake skin that looks like it's torn open that you can stick to your face. So again, main ingredient, liquid latex. All the other stuff is just makeup you can find just about anywhere. So first of all, we need to lay out something to work on and that's gonna be some wax paper. So we're gonna build the skin that's gonna go on my face on the wax paper out of liquid latex and some paper towel material. We'll soak the paper towel, it'll be able to get scrunched up, you'll see that later. I like using paper towel because it's a bit thicker and it'll build up a little quicker than like uh, uh, Kleenex or toilet tissue or anything like that. So, first thing we need to do is duplicate a railroad spike. I've got a real one here uh, and we're gonna cut it out of this foam this stuff right here. So I'll trace this out onto the foam. I've stuck these two pieces together ahead of time. I glued them together yesterday and uh, use the same stuff I've used before. Uh, when I did the motorcycle gas tank, I used uh, tacky glue. It's just a white glue. You can use Elmer's glue as well. So let's trace this out and we'll get a nice little shape here of our railroad spike. I'm gonna use a hacksaw blade to cut this out with, and I'm not gonna bore you with every little bit of this. We'll jump ahead to where I get it cut out. Okay, there's the, uh, the profile that way. Now we need to get this part. So we'll just flip it on its side, lay it on here and trace it again, and that'll give me that nice weird rounded out head thing that's on a railroad spike. We're not trying to get exact because we will sand it to shape a little bit later. Okay, let's cut that out. Okay, railroad spike profile in both dimensions cut out. And now we're gonna take some sandpaper and basically sculpt it into the shape. Well, that's not bad. It looks pretty good. It's uh, pretty similar in shape all around. Looks like a railroad spike to me. Okay, so we wanna make this a little more, uh, how should I say, tougher than just foam. So I'm gonna coat this in some uh, white glue and then hit it with a hair dryer to give it a little bit of a skin to make it a bit tougher and it'll look like a rusty old railroad spike because this is EPS foam and it's got all those dimples and stuff on it. So let's do that. A little bit of carpenter's glue, just white glue works too, anything like that. Uh, just smear it all over the foam. Get a good coat of it on there. This will just help keep it a little more together and not quite so fragile. Okay, that's all coated up. We'll let that dry here for a minute. I'll help it out with a, uh, a hair dryer. That's pretty well dried out now. We're ready to color this and make it look the color of a railroad spike. I'm gonna do that with some watercolor paints, just a cheapy set some black in there. Let's stir that around and see what we got. A little bit goes a long ways with the black stuff here. You know, that's, that's close enough. 
close enough for a base coat. Let's just paint it on there. Get a good coat. Make sure we get all the little nooks and crannies covered up. Let's get some of that out of there. Put a little bit of that <laughs> on the palette. Right there, and I've got a sponge, I have a natural sponge. I dab some on the sponge, and the sponge will give me some kind of neat textures. See? It's going to add just a little bit of a, a textured look to it. Can you see that, what it's doing? Well, we'll get a better look later. Get some more of that paint. All right, there it is, a rusty spike. Sure looks like a rusty spike, doesn't it? Well, it's actually foam. All right, let's move on to the latex. First, we'll cut open this little tube of liquid latex. Now let's tear up a few pieces of paper towel. And just get a few little random chunks hanging out here. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, two wounds. One of them is going to be the exit wound and the other one will be the entrance wound. And what we're after is just basically an opening. It's something that looks like an opening into flesh. So we'll start out by just putting a little bit of latex down here on the wax paper and just lay a piece of the paper towel material on there. And it'll absorb it up pretty quickly and it'll also get a little bit you know, weird, like you can scrunch it up and do things with it. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, we're zoomed in a little bit closer. You can see how I can wrinkle it up a little bit like this. So let's put another piece over here, a little more latex, a little bit more paper towel material. We'll saturate that paper towel pretty good. And we're gonna wrinkle that up a little. So we're after something that we can take that piece of railroad spike. Now if I was to just take another little chunk of foam to show you what I'm talking about, and we're gonna embed it right in there like that. So we'll keep going with this around the perimeter a bit now to give us a place where we can have something to stick to my face. And we're just gonna keep adding some more to the works. I can trim this up later, but what I'm after is just a good saturated layer of latex around the outside, and that'll give me something to stick it to. Because we're gonna use the latex later and apply it right to my face. Okay, so that's, that's a pretty good looking entry wound. Now what we want to do next is take another piece and we're going to lay it right over the top of that. And we're going to just kind of blend it all in. And what that'll do is create the impression of the flesh being pulled into the wound a little bit. Let me get another one of these brushes here to help me out. Well, this is water-based, this latex, so if you need to do anything uh, water-based type moving it around. This stuff's water-based so you can uh, clean up your brush with, with water when you're all done. It'll come off later with water when you're done. So that's a pretty good looking entry wound I think. We've got some bunched up flesh. We'll create some tension lines in it that look like it's actually poking into the skin. So now I can take the spike and we'll cut it. And I want it at an angle because it's going to be at an angle, uh, you know, going into my face here. So I'll figure that angle about. Well, I want kind of an angle like that and a little bit down. So let's just try this. Let me just saw it off here. Something like something like that. We'll cut it off at an angle about like that. And now we're gonna take a little more latex 
and put it on the bottom of that piece of foam. Get a pretty good amount in there. And then we'll just push that right into this. And that's about all there is to it. And we'll let that dry. And then we're just going to do the opposite with the exit wound, but the exit wound will have a few, few pieces of skin coming out of it. So the exit wound here, I've got a base laid down. I've scrunched up some stuff. And then I've got a flap here that I put on that's laying on top of a piece of wax paper. And underneath that is some other skin. So we'll let it dry like that, and then this will end up being a flap. So it'll look like it's a, a real piece of skin. This uh, is the piece that's going to come out, but we need to shorten it up a little bit. We're going to put the same angle cut on it, but we're going to do it right about here. And then we'll orient that about like this. That way the flap of skin is going to hang down. So let's see, we're going to add a little bit more to that, I think. I want a little bit thicker flap of skin there. So I'm going to add a little more latex. Looks like i got to open up my other tube. Another little flap of skin. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Let's add one or two more. Pretty easy to do. You just kind of gob it on there and you get a little latex on it and just let it absorb. That's awesome. And just a little bit more over on this other side. And then we'll be ready to let this dry down. And then we'll add a little color to it. And then we'll stick it to my face. And then we'll do some more makeup to blend it in. And I'll be ready to go. We'll give you a little better look at what's going on here. There's the entry wound. And there's the exit wound. Nice couple of crumpled up pieces of stuff that looks like flesh. And that flap of skin over there. And then we'll, uh, we'll color it. We'll have some stuff in there that looks like fatty tissues. <laughs> stuff like that. And um, this is going to be awesome. I've got my little drying oven going here. Let's take a peek and see how things are doing. See how it's starting to get a little yellowy and clear as it dries? It's all got to look that way before I can peel it up off from the wax paper and then I'll have to let the back side dry just a little bit too. I'll just cut it out. And we'll just see if we can peel the back off here. Hopefully, it doesn't stick too much. Yeah, okay, now we got past the neighbor's car alarm going off. Uh, so back to peeling. This is a delicate operation. It, it did stick a little more than I thought to the wax paper, but I think if I take my time, I can get it all peeled off. It's gotta go nice and slow. But it is peeling off okay. Just gotta take your time and go slow. There we go. One entry wound with flappy skin ready to glue on to my face. All right, my little uh, entry and exit wound guys are all done, so now I'm gonna add some flesh color to the latex with my makeup kit here. Got this stuff. One of them is kind of fleshy colored, so we'll get a nice base coat of flesh color on all of the skin areas. Look at that, it's already looking way cooler. This is awesome. Okay, now we get to the fun part. Uh, putting the piece onto my face, so Got to figure out just where I want the entry wound to be here uh, so that it works out where it comes out the other side in the right location. So let's see, 
probably, you know, it could just go through my entire head. It doesn't have to be a railroad spike, I suppose. <laughs> um, let's see, which way do we want it? Maybe on this side over here, and then it comes out this side here. What do you think? Or either way, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna work out better because of the angle. So let's put it right over here. So what I need to do first is get a layer of uh, the liquid latex onto the back of this. We'll just paint some on. And then I'll put it up against my face where it's going to go right there. And now let's just add a little bit more onto my face. And then we let both parts dry for a few minutes. And then if I stick this on there, it's gonna hold really well. So we'll take a break for a minute and let that dry. Gotta remember which way I had it here now. Just about like that. You'll see it, it sticks pretty well. And the next step will be to put some more liquid latex around the area around here and blend it a little bit. And um, then I can add some more makeup. And I'll add some tissue here to help it blend, some thinner uh, like toilet paper or just Kleenex tissue. Now we'll put it this way instead. That looks about right. Just gotta get it lined up pretty good there. Got to keep the flat sides in the proper area. It looks pretty good right there. So let's see, we'll get a little more liquid latex on my face now in that area. Taking this off later is going to be fun. It always is. You have to really soak the hell out of it. And we'll let that dry a little bit. And while that's drying, I can go back over to the other side here and we can start blending this in a little bit. Stretch this out, put a little bit right here and right here. And we'll take a little bit of tissue and just stick it on there. and blend. And we just kind of let the excess rip off. There you go. Doesn't take much. It's better if you have a torn edge uh, where the blend happens. It just tends to work out a little better. Okay, let's go back over to this side. Uh, the exit wound. Let's get that lined up and stuck on there. pretty good right there. Stick it. We've got this little section down here where I've got my flap of skin. The excess. And when this dries down really well, I'll be able to tug on this a little bit and it should just stay right there. Okay, a little makeup.
to blend things in. I'm really pushing it here. This is not 100% dry, but I'm on a time constraint. We're supposed to be at a party soon. This has taken me a good couple of hours to get this done. So now you know when you hear those actors say how they had to go in and start at 5 a.m. to get their makeup on in special effects type situations. Maybe you can appreciate now what that's all about because this stuff eats up a lot of time. And uh, when you got a whole face you got to put on, you could easily see how it could take like five hours of time just to get in makeup. So hats off to all the actors that do work like this and put up with this stuff all the time. Okay, I'm just going to add some of this same color weird yellowy look to my whole face. I'm going to just blend it in here a little bit. Okay, now we can help out that uh, flesh to blend a little more by getting a little bit of red just off of one of these little red pens. And I'm just going to add a little bit to it. Now, for the bruising, a little bit of blue, a little blue pen. I'll get some of that on there. And then right around the area, I'm going to add a little bit of a, just a little bit of blue tint right around the wound. Kind of like a A bit of hematoma is going on there. Hematoma. <laughs> yeah, that's doing the trick. And we'll do some over here too. On the entry wound. Entry wound from a blunt force puncture with a railroad spike. So I gotta come up with a story how this happened for the party. So, um, yeah, you know, I was crossing the road the other night and uh, going across the railroad tracks and um, I was in a hurry, I was running and uh, you know, the spikes are laying around there on the side sometimes and I fell down and one of them was pointing up was right through my friggin' face, man. Bad news. Really hurt a lot. A uh, little black eye action. Uh, facial injury. We get the, the black eye thing going on. I'm liking it. I would say I'm just about there, folks. All we gotta do now is add some drippy blood and uh, a little bit of fresh blood maybe down here and we're done. Okay, let's see if we got it now. There we go. Yeah, we just let that drip. Yes. And some more down here. Nice. We like the gel blood. Lisa? Yeah? Can you kiss my boo-boo? <laughs> you want to show everybody your costume? <laughs> it's Elvis. Elvita. Elvis's younger sister. It's a rare moment, Lisa on video, folks. But, you know, you can't see her eyes, so there you go. We're almost done. I'm going to have a mess to clean up in here when we get home. <laughs> Alright, last touch is going to be a little bit of blood coming off here and where it's dripped down onto my shirt. Got to have some blood on the shirt. Alright, there we go. That's good. Blood running down the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> 
Maybe a little over here, a little fresh. Yeah, that's good. Let that run down. Oh yeah, this is good. We like this. As it's happening. Cool. I think I'm ready. For the hospital. Okay, so there you go. Uh, maybe it's too late for Halloween for you. Maybe it's not. If you're having a party this weekend, then you can do it. But anyway, you got the know-how now for next year. So anyway, I got a party to go to. So, ah, God, this thing is really hurting my teeth. Till next time. Okay, back from the party. Time to get this off. This side started to peel off. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it's like Terminator. Okay.